Morning, everybody. AJ Petiti, it's always a pleasure. How are you this morning? Fantastic. We are in fall right now and it feels great. Isn't it crazy? Yeah, I mean, of course, the temperatures have been going the other direction, but we haven't had much rain at all really over the last, what, three or four weeks. I know the, you know, the ground's kind of drying out. So we kind of, you know, we kind of forget about that. This is the time of year. I know we think about fall, but, you know, you can still, even if you keep the ground watered where you're, where you're planting, you can still get a lot of fall color. You can still get a lot of growth in September into early October with, with perennials, AJ. What about that? Absolutely. Well, actually, falls really, it's the best time of the year to plant, um, without a doubt. So the ground is still warm, and I know it's a little warm now, air temperature-wise, but it will cool off. And so with that stress not being there on the tops of the trees, it really gives a good opportunity for the roots to, to really flush out and flourish. And it really creates a really strong base so that next spring, it, I mean, those plants really just jump out of the ground with a little bit of fertilizer. So it's, it's really the best time of year to plant, which is incredible within your gardens right now take a look you, again you want to make sure that you're just keeping everything clean anything that's diseased or dying um, that's just not performing well get that out of the garden and then you're still harvesting there's still a lot of produce coming out we should hopefully get another couple weeks at least you know being able to pull tomatoes and especially herbs will keep going a lot longer even through october can you keep so your tomatoes time in the garden. AJ, real quick before we shift gears can you keep your tomato plants uh going into early october when, when should you go you know what pull the green ones off before they get hit probably around the first frost or can you keep them on yeah when, beyond that when we start to see the first cold snap mm -hmm. that's when you want to start looking okay. at pulling them out so if, if we see a night that's getting into the low 30s um and even the 20s but low 30s should really be the threshold anything that's gonna be a freeze um, you want to make sure that you're pulling. They can take a little bit of a frost, but if we're starting to get in those consistent cold nights, um, you could actually take them out of the ground, hang them in the garage, um, and actually be able to continue to, all that green fruit, be able to get to ripen and, and really get to harvest. So there's still plenty of time uh, within the garden. And then once we start cooling off temperature-wise, hopefully in the next week, it's still a great time to go through and overseed your lawn, make sure that you're feeding your lawn. Um, it's a great time, especially with the summer that we had, to really pay attention and reinvigorate it. And then really, I mean, fall planting, there's so much color and it's so much fun. And as you're looking at your landscape, you want to like, you want to look at things with color in spring. There's a lot of plants, hydrangea, that, you know, give you midsummer to late summer color, early fall color. And then there's plants that give you great color throughout fall. So this is actually a smoke bush. So its foliage is green uh, to bronzy, but in the fall, the fall color it gets is this bright, fiery orange. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Rosa Sharon is another great one, and it's a beautiful plant. It blooms in fall. They get about six to eight feet tall. They like sun. They're very deer resistant. Actually, both these plants are really deer resistant. Um, so just another great fall plant. And the more established they get, the longer they bloom. So you get a lot of value and a lot of great color out of it. Grasses and ferns are beautiful in the fall. And it's something that you really want to take a look at because it, it's a great source of food for birds in the wintertime. So especially if you don't trim them down in the fall and you trim them down in the spring, all these plumes and all the different grasses have different plumes, different colors are really interesting. Um, but it's a great source of nutrition for birds as they're going through wintertime. And then perennials, one of my favorites. So this is sweet autumn clematis and it only blooms in fall. And this is just, this is a baby, this is a, a little one, but they get massive. So these will get six, eight, 10 feet tall, depending on the kind of trellis you let it grow on. And they are loaded with white flowers and they smell beautiful, especially at dusk. So just a great plant to have, you know, if, you've, if you want something that's climbing or you want to cover something up, a air conditioning unit or electric box, just a great plant to have around as you're going through. Russian sages are great, but again, the different kinds of grasses. And then, you know, looking at your planters, just, we talked about it a couple of weeks ago, but you know, your summer planters still have a lot of life in them, but anything that's not looking great, it's just, it's really easy to go through. You know, you can keep the marigold going, keep the petunias going, but you know, if things are falling off, adding a mum, adding some peppers, you know, ornamental kale is a beautiful thing in the fall. Really just a lot of color there. And it helps you just really keep things going, but it's just a fun time to get things dressed up and get things going throughout the fall um, with pumpkins, with, you know, hay bales, just, all the fun stuff. It's it's my favorite season of the year. It's I, just absolutely, it's so much fun. You know, you're talking about pumpkins. I remember this is a I man 10 years ago. I had a pumpkin and I kind of forgot about it and it kind of, you know, rotted a little bit in the mulch. Snow covered it, forgot about it the next spring. I'm like, what is this vine growing in my, in, in you know, in the flower bed? And it was the seeds from the pumpkin and it grew the next spring all the way around the house. So 
I don't know. Pumpkins yeah. remind me of that from way back in the day. It's really cool. I mean, especially if it's warm and protected, right. you can get, I mean, tomatoes will do that sometimes. You'll find little baby tomato seeds, uh, seedlings in the spring kind of sprouting up, pumpkins. It's, it's, just more, it's, it's really neat. It's really cool. AJ, thank you very much. Always a pleasure.